Hello, welcome to Chemistry 1001. We're talking about states of matter. This particular short topic, I'm going to talk about the kinetic molecular model, and in particular, I'm going to display the kinds of motions that molecules undergo in gases, liquids, and solids. So here's the picture uh, of a gas trapped in a cubicle box. And because the gas is very not very dense, uh, the molecules essentially don't hit each other, but they keep traveling through space until they hit the edge of the container. When they hit the edge of the container, momentum is transferred to the container wall, and this is experienced by you as a pressure. When you get thousands of molecules hitting uh, one particular wall, it becomes like a force a pressure, a, a series of hits uh, onto the wall uh, where you can, which eventually becomes a constant pressure. You can see in this diagram that there are a few collisions inside the box, so this is a very low density gas, so there's not many collisions of the molecules with each other. Most of the time they're hitting the edges of the walls. How does the picture change when we go to a liquid? Um, here we have a picture of the liquid in the same cubicle box. And you can say, yes, the molecules are moving around. They're twisting and moving, and certainly they're not going in straight lines because they don't, and before they can move in a straight line, they hit another water molecule. But if we trace the uh, trajectory of a particular molecule, you can see that it travels around and moves like a kind of piece of spaghetti, kind of like a drunk man who's drunk too much beer and uh, gradually decides to go where he wants but never really gets too far from where he starts. In fact, uh, this is called a random walk uh, and oftentimes is modeled by this drunken man analogy. They do move and this is called uh, the diffusion of the molecule through a liquid of its own uh, making. So this is called self-diffusion. You can think of it as a kind of uh, a friction that a molecule undergoes when it moves from point A to point B. Let's look now at how things move in the solid. Uh, in the solid, atoms are arranged in a regular way, especially in a crystalline solid. Uh, in an amorphous solid, uh, there's two kinds of amorphous solid uh, made of many crystallites. But considering the crystals, uh, the atoms are generally trapped in one position and they move around those positions uh, in a very tight... Uh, they certainly don't... There's an average position and they don't move from A to B. They stay around this particular average position. And that's what characterizes a solid. Of course, this picture is completely wrong uh, because atoms are not particles like this. They are quantum particles and they have a probability distribution. They don't actually move around like this in the same way that electrons don't move around. The atoms are actually in orbitals uh, called atomic, they're called phonons and we can show the shapes of those orbitals if we want to. But this is a convenient picture for thinking about how atoms uh, move, even though it's not correct. I hope you enjoyed that.